Hello, this is Gene. Um, I said I was going to start doing this uh, hopefully weekly uh, episode about uh, cucks in media or where else, wherever else it is. Uh, so I want to talk about today about two. Now I want to understand. I want you guys to understand what I'm talking about being cucked. It doesn't necessarily have to be because if you look at like Wikipedia about what a, a cuck is, it's like it's really about conservative, uh, conservative and that type of thing. So I could sit there and mention everybody in Congress the last week about the health gear bill, they would all be considered cucks in that way. But when I talk about it, it's more about um, uh, people out there uh, virtually signaling um, their dismay about something that happened uh, and uh, thinking they're above, above uh, their, their, and, and their enlightenment is higher than everybody else is. So today is actually a twofer. And I just want you to know, you can be a female and be a cuck conservative as well, or a cuck as well. So the two people I'm going to talk about today are Laura Loomer and Jack uh, Bosobiak. Uh, both these people have some of a relevant, large uh, ex um, presence on U Twitter and on YouTube. And uh, last month, they both, um, that's what really wanted me to do this video, Actually, I just forgot about it, uh, but after something happened today, it, it reminded me about it, and I'll talk about why at first uh, I believe that they should be part of this show, show and I'll talk about what happened, happened recently, and uh, then we'll shut it down, and I'll just wait for your debate uh, in the comments. Uh, Jack uh, uh, Poskoviak and Laura Loomer... Um, are what you would consider alt-right. Um, they are all about for uh, Western civilization as long as it uh, wields to their um, thought process of what it should be. So last month, you know, there was this this uh, play that was going on in Central Central Park, I think, in North New, uh, New York, where somebody that looks like Trump was getting assassinated. Now, if people actually would have researched this whole thing, they would have found out that. They did that with somebody that looked like Obama years ago. Same type of show. Nobody was really upset about it. Nobody on the left came out. One of those weird, weird um, things that the, the people on the left didn't come out and say, I can't believe that we're doing this. But this happened with uh, Trump. And then Trump's going through a lot of shit right now through media. And I get it. People want to defend him. And I get it to a point. Um, so it got there was play in the media. They didn't really talk too much about what happened with when the character of Obama was murdered years ago. But they kept uh, on the alt alter alternative media, and a lot of people that were uh, alt right, especially, were um, ups just so upset that this was happening uh, that they decided to just go out there and disrupt the play. Uh, Laura Luma actually went on stage, they basically saying that. Uh, <laughs> This is not acceptable. We shouldn't be doing something like that. Uh, these are the same people that say we should have free speech, or these are the same people that did not go to the free speech rally in by the uh, by the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. They had their own because it, they didn't want to be um, out there with Richard Spencer and some of the other people from the alt right. And uh, to me, that is like the highest cuckery that you could be. So, but they can do what they want to do. They can have their own little party and they can talk about free speech. But when it's not what they want to talk about, or the agenda that they want to do, they interrupt uh, art, which somebody who supports art, um, don't like a lot of it, <laughs> to be honest, uh, but I support it. Uh, both all my kids were in the theater department. My uh, oldest daughter, my youngest, well, my youngest daughter, <laughs> I guess, is uh, a theater major uh, here uh, in Orlando, and uh, you know, We'll see if she actually has a job after all that, but she is going to school for it. Uh, so I support the arts, and I, I love movies, and that's art. Uh, I have issues with a lot of the actors right now, to be honest, but at the same time. But anyway, I, I don't think that that was the right thing to do. And I talk about it, uh, it was about two months ago, about the battle at Berkeley, that the alt-right and mostly alt-light, some people that consider themselves not really alt-right, but more like alt-right, or alt-light, are just want to get themselves public stuff. And 
uh, to virtual singular or to get popular. So what this Laura Loomer actually did, she got on the stage, she directed it, and then ja Jack uh, Bosobiak got there to talk about saying that everybody there in the crowd were Goebbels. <laughs> and I'm like, you're comparing people watching a play to the propaganda man from Germany. Now, full disclosure, most of what Goebbels said was right. <laughs> so I don't know if that makes me a Nazi or anything, but... Uh, I, I wouldn't compare what he said to, like, the guy in Iran, you know, that was lying about shit and everything. So, so I, in a lot of ways, I have a lot of respect for Goebbels. And, but this, this guy, and I believe that, I know the Loomer is a Jew. I think that probably Basobiak is as well a Jew. And what's happening to the quote-unquote alternate, alter, alternate media on the right, uh, mostly alt-light, are really the same people who still run the mainstream, but they decided to go somewhere else where they can have their own agenda. They're more conservative in nature, and they're all pro-Israel. So uh, some of them get um, lapped into people on the right who don't su support Israel, even though a lot of them do, like Gavin G G McGinnis uh, is on this hate thing from the ADL. And it's strange because Gavin G McGinnis loves Israel. <laughs> and all the, a lot of people in the alt-right do like Israel. Um, what I like, the only thing I like about Israel is the fact they have strong leadership that says they're going to be in a homogenous society, and I think that that is something we have here. Other than that, I don't support Israel in any way, other than my taxpayers are going, money is going to them. Um, so they, she got on the, and he started just saying shit like that, and then she got arrested. Um, actually, I think there was two different events um, when this happened, and of course, because she's a female and she's the first person that did it. That she became like, uh, like a, a little darling for the the right, the alt right, the alt light. And then, they had to have a, a fund raises her for her for her legal uh, fees, even though she, what she did was at first, at the uh, worst was a misdemeanor. It doesn't really need anybody. You can just go in and it's a ticket or something like that. So, of course, she got money from it and. And then people say that she used it for her facial issues. So, I mean, okay, if that's what they do it on the left all the time. And I could just say it's okay for them to do it because they do it all the, all the time. But I've said before in my videos that I think the, the, the arguments that we have are correct. And if we allow people like this to be part of the movement to uh, equate them with people who are really talking about saving uh, Western civilization, European, European heritage, our culture, and we allow them to come in who are not really there for that. They're there for their own agenda, and if you really realize what they're looking at, uh, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. They'll start talking about freedom and liberty and stuff like that. That's not what we're talking about. That would be the saving and preserving of Western values and civilization Somehow, those things would still be there because that's how it was started on. Now, this is, I'm just going to go a little off tangent here because it doesn't really mean anything, but it's just something that pisses me off sometimes. And I know that wrestling is not real, okay, but son, John Cena, who is the biggest mouthpiece for the WWD, and he's everywhere. He's uh, um, doing stuff in Hollywood, he's doing stuff with Today Show, he's everywhere, okay. Um, they're having some. A match this weekend, and he talks about uh, wh what's, what started this country because he was starting this whole thing about USAA and we're going against somebody else. So it's you know it's a good versus the bad guy. It's, it's a trope forever in uh, in wrestling, and I have no problem with it. But he says this is what this country was was uh, founded on that anybody from anywhere could come here at any time. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not what the framers uh, were actually doing there. Uh, they decided that the only people that ever come in this country should have to be pretty much from our stock. They were supposed to be white. Uh, and then that all happened, and we had some issues with it for a while. A lot of times the, Iraq, the Italians, the Irish had issues uh, assimilating, but they did. And then from we were fine until about 1965, and then every, everything fucking changed. I just don't like it when he just just banging that out there because he's talking to kids, and kids believe this shit, and it's not really true. Now, in theory, it's pretty much what we've done. So, I, but in truth, that's not what it, the framers thought about. So let me get back to what I was talking about. So these guys are the alt-light 
And so they got a little bit of, of you know, love for it, and then a lot of people in the alt-right came out and said, I can't believe this shit, and Spencer was one of them, which was good, and I came out and said the same thing. Clearly, I'm not a leader in the alt-right. Again, I've told you before, I'm not really considered an alt-right person. I support the idea of it, um, that we should uh, defend and preserve our culture. And I don't care what people say. I had a long conversation with a guy I haven't talked to in probably 10 years, maybe, about Western civilizations, and he has a lot of the same type of programming that I had about it, but his ideas are almost exactly the same as mine. He just hasn't gone to that point where he has shoved out all that white guilt that we have for all the shit that's happened. So he doesn't want to come out and say that Western civilization is not a white creation when he knows it is deep down. And But just by talking to him, it's clear we're on the same page. Um, he didn't consider himself a uh, alt-right person. He considered himself a classical liberal, which I've always been, I've always considered myself to be. But the left has left me behind, and the only one that's actually somewhere close to where I want to be is the alt-right, but that's only certain areas of it, not when they start saying that everybody is out to kill us and all that shit, although there's some evidence for all that. So, <clears throat> I'm not a supporter of, of National Socialism is what I'm saying, and I've said that several times in my videos. So, so these people got a little bit of fame out of it, and it's good that a lot of people in the alt-right came out and said that's a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of virtual signaling, and like I said before in my Berkeley thing, uh, I saw it happening, and I, and I said it's going to continually do it on. I've asked Millennial Woes to do a video on this. I hope that someday he will get my email I sent to him, and this is before this happened, and maybe he'll bring it out. And I think he's kind of said it a little bit about, uh, you know, we have to be better than that that our movement is more intellectually based. Um, we don't want to get to the point where we have to be in the streets having a violence uh, thing with people that our, our ideas are right and should be um, shared with everybody and then eventually through de de democracy and the vote or something like that, those values and those policies will come into, into uh, fruition. And really all that is is like immigration reform and and making sure the demographic stays a certain area and that we we help out uh, fathers in the black community and the white community <laughs> and things that are just traditional in nature that would help our country come back instead of us and also and all that could be tied to service uh, in some way for the country and I guess a lot of people would say that's more socialism but I think that everybody should uh, who are gay is cable should, should give ten two or three years to service the country in some way, and then in some way we can help them go to college if they don't have scholarships for it. Um, so, as I said, I was going to let this go. I was thinking today what I want to talk about. You know, I was thinking maybe I'll talk about uh, the new season of uh, Manchester United coming out. Maybe I'll talk about that. But I, I want to take this video. I want to do this video every week. And I was thinking about it, not really so much. And I was like, who can I talk about? And then I saw something that. Uh, lit, uh, Loomer actually sent out today. And there's a woman that I follow, and I don't, I don't believe everything she says. I think you could consider her, she's kind of an alt-right alt -right person. Um, she's from um, Canada, uh, very nice looking girl, uh, very uh, talented, very can sync very well. Um, she has uh, musical talent and stuff. And she had some issues uh, where she ended up having to get an, Os an Oscopy job um, bag on her side. And I kind of connected with her up last year about this time because um, I had a problem when I, I had cancer and I had part of my uh, small uh, cola was taken out and there was a good chance that I was going that was going to happen to me but they saved it enough to where I didn't have to do that so we talked about it and uh, she was talking about that uh, how it's kind of affected her a little bit and uh, you know, I didn't really have I don't have a relationship with her I don't talk to her at all but we did we talked about that. Um, uh, so, as people do, uh, she kind of like went out there on Twitter and said, I wonder why, where'd she get all that money to get, um, this woman was, was actually talking about uh, Lauren Loomer, because he had, apparently she's had some facial uh, surgeries in the last couple of days, and uh, she's like, I'm wondering where that money came from, because she got like $25,000 for her legal fund, uh, even though... <laughs> there is no reason for it. Maybe it might be six or seven hundred bucks to go, you know, do the fine, all that shit. So she put it out there, and this woman came in and just went at her attack and 
uh, showed pictures of her uh, with her, her bag. Now, Mar Margaret, and I'll put her name below in the different descriptions, she shows everybody it. Uh, and I think that she does that to empower herself, to, to say it's okay to be like that. And she's had very issues with the health. I mean, she tells us what's going on. She's been in the hospital for a long time during this week or this year. She's gone back a couple times. So I think it's fair that uh, it's nice that she does that. And she, she uh, wants everybody to know that it can be okay to have something like this because she's a young, um, very nice-looking look woman. Um, clearly would be a uh, high-grade <laughs> mating material, no question. Not that I look at women that way, but I'm just I'm being honest here. Um, but this woman just wet her very, very bad. And, uh, you know, just talking that she's, she's uh, she says, well, I guess she does, she, she has this issue that she has a disease, but she's full of shit. And she shows her with her bag and all that stuff. And, and she continues on and she won't just relent at all. So Bar Margaret just, just goes along with her. And some people are actually coming now. Some of the people in the skeptic community are coming out and saying they shouldn't do shit like that. I have no problem trolling somebody, and I think that anything, I, I don't have any problem with uh, Margaret asking the question, why are you doing stuff to your face, what happened to that $25,000, that's all we want to know. And you might know Margaret, she used to do things with Milo, and then she, uh, her and Milo had a fallen out, and a lot of it was based on the money he was getting as well, and you know she didn't like what was going on with that, so she kind of called him out on that. Now, he never came back and said anything like that back to her, she just, he just basically, I think, just ignored her, uh, but for a long time they were like an item, you know, she was on all their stream, his streams, and uh, they seemed to be friends and all that stuff, but that kind of go well. But anyway, what, what this is really called, comes back to where it was before, um, is it cuckery to, to be like the left, and just to get attention, and, and, and act like you believe in free speech when you don't, uh, the fact that we have to, if you're going to defend deep free speech, it's okay if people on the left say shit. We can't go and shut that down. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't understand it. And um, so I guess this is really what I want to talk about. And the two people that are the cooks of the week are Laura Loomer and Jack Soviak. Uh, if you have any... Um, I know people that, that I, you would think that I, I could talk about, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of forgetting what I want to talk about. It's been a long week. Uh, but that's basically it. If you have anything else you want to talk about, just let me know in the comments. Please like this and share it. And, uh, and I'll put the information down below of those people that we were talking about. Uh, those of you who, doesn't, who don't follow uh, Margaret, uh, I think it would be a good follow and she's funny. Um, she, she knows, you know, she's one of those people that understands uh, her pull, I guess. I mean, she's a very beautiful woman, uh, regardless of what her little uh, problem is. Anyway, I'm just rattling right now. You guys have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.